Hey folks, today we're diving into the Cypher System Starter Set. If you're cur curious about jumping into an RPG that thrives on flexibility, whether it's fantasy, sci-fi, horror, or something completely different, this box could be your gateway. But how does it measure my up, and is it the gate system for you? Let's find out. First up, let's talk about what you get inside. Right away, we've got some essentials, a uh, simplified player's book and game master's book. Pre-generated characters, you have five sci-fi and five fantasy. Some cards for more of the game master, a XP deck and intrusion deck. A map that has two maps on it, quick little peek. Uh, you could cut this in half, but it's pretty big. A handy little double-sided cheat sheet a d20 and d6. And in the Game Master book, there are two starter adventures, one fantasy and one sci-fi. This kit has everything you need to start playing, but let's address a few things first. First, there's a lot of dead space in this box. This cardboard piece that's just taking up space. Where did that go? The components could easily fit into just a smaller package. It kind of feels like a missed opportunity to either include some extras or just have some a box that's not going to take up space on your shelf with just air. I understand wanting to like have a little bit of room so that the cards and the dice uh, aren't get squished, but there's just so much kind of air in the box uh, and not necessarily a, like you don't get your values worth but it has that feeling of like when you first opening a box like when you open a bag of chips and it's mostly air and all the chips have like squished down to the bottom you still have the chips it just feels like a little bit of letdown you also only get 1d20 and 1d6 which is fine um but if you're playing with a group you're probably going to end up wanting to pick up a set of dice for everybody um you know you can test it out with this, but I know most people prefer having their own dice rather than trying to keep track of who around the table has the dice. The map is nice. I like the artwork on it, but it feels a little too big. Um, I wish they had just gone ahead and split this into two separate maps that I'm not going to have to cut this in half and or just made it a little bit smaller. Um, it feels like it's kind of meant to be laid out in front of everybody. Uh, and you might be able to do that eventually, but it does say for the GM to keep it secret at first. Uh, and this is definitely like way too big for the GM to like pull out and reference. Now, I think there are duplicates of that map in the uh, G GM handbook. So you're kind of okay there. It just feels a little big for the kind of map it is. I really wish that they had more cheat sheets. Um, I love that there is a cheat sheet included. I just wish that there was one for the Game Master as well as all of the players, or at least one for all of the players since the Game Master is not doing roles in Cypher. Um, I really think that they could benefit from that. I found it just makes for smoother gameplay when everybody's got one. You're not, again, trying to keep track of another thing. Um, for people to quickly reference. Now I will say throughout the cards, the book, the character sheets, there are fantastic art that represents the diversity of characters and stories you can have and create in the Cypher system. Okay, let's talk about um, kind of comparing the rules of the starter set to the full Cypher system, as well as some like general thoughts about like who I think this box is great for. So the rule book included is simplified. This is fantastic for beginners, people brand new to role-playing games or just brand new to the Cypher system. You get the basics, a simplified character creation if you don't want to use one of the pre-generated characters, core mechanics, and for the game master, how to run a game. But those for those familiar with the full Cypher system, there's some rules missing. It's pretty standard with a beginner box. You've got a simplified character creation with a limited selection of descriptors, types, and foci. The full rule set's going to provide a much larger variety, allowing for very customizable characters that are going to fit a broader range of genres and play styles. Speaking of genres, the starter set also only gives you a kind of taste of fantasy and sci-fi, whereas the full rule book, book explores more genres like modern, post-apocalyptic, and horror, and also provides some guidance on creating these unique settings and playing games 
in these kinds of settings. You're also not going to find rules for crafting ciphers, artifacts, or other game elements for that. You just need the full rule set. But again, that's kind of a little bit more advanced, so I'm not really missing that in the starter set. A big thanks to all of our patrons, especially Nicole. If you enjoy what we do and want to help directly support us and allow us to help make more better videos, head on over to patreon.com slash role for initiative and check out the perks of becoming a patron. All right, let's get back to this review. Ultimately, the starter set I feel like is a really great entry point for learning the basics of the cipher system and trying out a couple of adventures, especially for game masters, because I feel like cipher system is a lot easier for players to kind of learn as they go. Um, for, whereas for game masters, because it is a little bit different of like, you're not rolling for your NPCs, you're creating these um, kind of like difficulty levels more so. Um, I feel like it can be a little bit harder on the game master. And also the full rule set doesn't give you like, here's a setting and here's uh, monsters and stuff like that. Like you have to create all of that yourself or go pick up one of their great modules. Um, so that can be a bit overwhelming. Whereas being able to say like, great, here's the adventure. The adventure kind of helps walk you through how to play in the system. Um, you get that taste and get to learn while you're doing it. I know I'm somebody who... I can kind of only understand the mechanics so much. There's a certain point where I just need to like sit down and play and see it in action to fully understand. And for a game master, if you're trying to create a setting and story and all these NPC characters from scratch, I feel like if you don't have a good grasp of the mechanics, that's just difficult and can be very overwhelming. Also for players, having the option to start with a pre-generated character is really great because um, character creation it can be a bit uh, confusing, I think, in Cypher System because it is a little different than a lot of other RPGs. So if you're coming over from like D&D, &D, say, uh, it's, a it's different enough that being able to just be like, cool, great, I can actually see a fully created character and sit down and play with them and understand the mechanics and then go back and create something for a larger campaign. Now the two included adventures do showcase the cipher system's versatility. I think they're easy to run and great for new ex players to experience two different genres. They feel kind of like a similar story in sci-fi and in fantasy. However, compared to the full Cypher system modules, they feel like kind of more of a teaser than complete stories. I think experienced jams might find them a little light on details. I do also wish that there was a, like a third genre in here, like perhaps a modern genre. I can see as a starter set not wanting to go too overboard. And I also think Cyphers just work a little bit better in fantasy or sci-fi where they can either be magic or advanced tech and you're not needing to like make them make sense in like a modern non-magic environment. So there is that. But I, that is one thing that like Cypher System does support so many different genres. Would have been nice to get maybe even like a little bit more of a tease of the other possibilities that you can uh have with the system. In the end, I think the Cypher System starter set is really great for testing the waters or introducing friends to the system. At $30, it seems like a very affordable entry point with some room to grow. Now, and if you're looking for the full Cypher System experience, though, this set is just a taste of what's possible. So make sure to check out our review of the full Cypher System rule set to see if that's more your si style. So what do you think of the Cypher system? Have you tried it? Have you tried the starter set? Um, or are you interested, haven't tried it, and now thinking about it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear all of them and continue chatting with you there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye! Seriously, where did that go? <laughs> Just disappear. <laughs> okay.